Hello, my friends. It's your favorite high elf on the block, Calumnil, and I'm back again with a second Daggerfall video. Our previous video was called How to Install Daggerfall Unity in Three Easy Steps. This video is all about making Daggerfall look like a AAA experience with cutting edge graphics and gameplay. Okay, maybe old Calumnil is exaggerating a little bit but these mods will greatly improve your experience of this vast Elder Scrolls game. If you've never tried Daggerfall, I implore you to give it a chance. There's a bit to learn, but once you know it, you'll find this to be one of the best RPGs you will ever play. I'll take you through everything you need to know to play the game in the next video, which includes taking you through the magic system and how to fight various enemies. Today I'm going to show you how to mod the mud crab out of this game while keeping it stable in three simple steps. We'll be adding more than 70 mods. Step 1. So, the first step is to go to nexusmods.com forward slash games forward slash daggerfall unity and sign in. If you don't have an account, then register. It's quick, it's easy, and even better, it's completely free. Step 2. At the top of the page, you should see a search bar. Click on that and type Starter. In the Collection section, you should see the Beginner's Starter Set. This has been carefully crafted by our fine friends over at the Lysandis Tomb Discord server. If you have the time, please check them out and give them your support. They've put in a lot of work to make sure that people can enjoy this wonderful game to its fullest extent. So, as you can see here, it says that the Beginner's Starter Set is a collection carefully curated by the team at Lysandis Tomb Discord Community. The purpose of this collection is to provide an easy-to-install set of mods for new plays that smooths out most of Daggerfall's rough edges while providing some nice visual improvements. After we've installed this, we'll be adding a couple more visual improvements to finish the game off. Select Add Collection and then select Continue if you already have Vortex installed. If not, then download Vortex. It's an amazing mod management tool, and again, it's completely free. This takes us to the third and final step. The Beginner's Starter Set contains over 70 key mods and is the easiest way to play a rich version of Daggerfall Unity without having to worry about bugs and conflicts. While Vortex is installing the collection, you will be prompted to download each mod in series. This means that you will be taken back to the site to ask for your permission to download. When you select Open Link in your browser, you will be resent back to Vortex. This is the quickest and easiest way to get so many mods downloaded. Continue this until all the mods have been downloaded. There are a few more mods that I would add in addition to the beginner's start set. The most important mods I would add are HD Enhanced, hand-painted models, and diverse weapons. These add even more of a 3D element to the game. However, you will have to disable the mod Red Brick Replacer from the beginner starter set collection in order for hand-painted models to work. I also disabled Dynamic Skies Pixel Edition and replaced it with another mod that I prefer. Whenever you're adding a mod, always take note if it has any other mods as dependencies, and always add one mod at a time and test the game first. If the game fails to start, then you'll know there's a serious problem. So you'll have to remove it or find a fix to the bug that it created. However, Adding mods may create other kinds of problems that are harder to detect until you've been playing the game for a longer period of time. Sometimes they can interfere with saves, cause the game to crash when entering different areas, or crash during fast travel. The only way to get around this is by trial and error, but the guys at Lysandis Tomb have done most of the hard work for you. Bit by bit, you can keep building upon the mod list they prepared for you until you have yourself a very rich and engaging version of Daggerfall that is tailored to suit your preferences. This is what my mod list looks like, and I'm able to play Daggerfall mostly fine. Just remember to save often. 
There is one final thing that's important to mention before you play Daggerfall. In the game settings, change Weapon Swing Mode from Vanilla to Click. If you don't do this, I assure you, you will become more insane than one of Sheogorath's devotees during the Grey March. And there we have it, my good friends. You are ready to begin your adventure through the lands of the Iliac Bay. If you made it to the end of this video, know that Calumniel loves you very much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That would help old Calumniel greatly. See you next time.